My name is Thomas. You're about to visit a management team meeting at the Eastern Division of Global Enterprises. The team has gathered and is waiting for Bill, the Eastern Division head, to join the meeting. If you listen carefully, you might be able to learn what happens when we are afraid to have open and honest communication with one another. Let's join the meeting now. He's ten minutes late. When I walked by his office, the door was closed. For heaven's sake, Roger, give him a break. Carol said he's on the phone with headquarters. I hear we're in for some big budget cuts. Well, does that surprise you? We haven't shown a profit in our division yet this year. Everyone knows that this is an investment year for us, and we even created our budget that way. I'm sure the people at headquarters remember that, don't you think? If we have to cut our budget, that almost certainly means we'll have to cut our staff. It's a terrible thing if we have to let people go. Just moments later, Bill, the Eastern Division head, joins the meeting. I'm very sorry to be late everybody. I've taken a look at the agenda, and I think if we are brief and to the point, we can still finish the meeting on time. Margaret, would you like to start? Each of the team members gives an update on his or her area. Bill doesn't say much, and he appears to be very distracted. Thank you everyone. It sounds like you've got everything under control. I have to go now, but I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Wow. I've never seen Bill so angry before. I'm not sure that he was angry, but he certainly was very short with us. That phone call from headquarters must have been really bad news. It wasn't like Bill not to stay around and chat a little bit. He sure seemed like he was in a hurry to leave the meeting and get back to something else. No doubt. He was headed back to his office to figure out how we're going to cut our budget. I think you're right. We must be in for some big budget cuts ourselves. Well, I'm having lunch today with Kathy. She has a friend at headquarters, and maybe she'll know what's going on with the budget cuts, since Bill won't tell us anything. Later on, people get together and casually discuss what happened that day. Since not much was said during the meeting, the focus of the conversation is on what Bill did and say, instead of what Bill did, say. Soon, other people who weren't even in the meeting also begin to get involved. I tell you Kathy, Bill was not acting like himself today in the meeting. He was completely distracted and didn't chat with us at all. I'm not surprised. I spoke to my friend at headquarters. And she said the Southern Division was forced to slash their budget in half. I'm sure that means we have to do the same thing. I still can't believe that Bill hasn't told you he has to cut the budget. These budget cuts are really going to hurt. I can't believe they are going to make us cut people. We don't even have the resources to do what we need to do now. Bill really seemed distracted during their meeting. I think his mind was somewhere else. I'm sure he was thinking about how we're going to cut our budget. I've spent some time looking at our numbers. I bet they're asking for a 20% reduction. That might get us close to break even. You are watching the truth being created before your very eyes. Bill's direct reports are trying to make sense of his behavior. Each person has a slightly different impression of what happened and creates their own version of what's really going on. I wonder why Bill didn't say anything about the budget cuts during our meeting. They probably asked him to wait until a formal company announcement comes out. I'll bet he has to let one of us go. He probably wants to talk in private first, before announcing it to everyone. Did you hear about what happened with the Southern Region's budget? Of course. Everybody knows they had to cut their budget in half. I think I heard they fired the Southern Division manager, too. I bet that's why Bill is so distracted. He's probably worried that he's going to lose his job. Why isn't Bill telling us anything? It isn't fair for him to keep us in the dark like this. Well, I'm not waiting for the inevitable. I've already put pen to paper and I'm prepared to take 20% out of my budget. If you're cutting your budget, I guess I need to do the same thing. I'll have to cancel some other meetings, but since this is an order from headquarters, I think people will understand. Each person soon has facts that make up a story they believe to be true. And nobody's version of the truth is exactly the same. These stories will remain as the truth until Bill tells his staff something different. 
But Bill has no idea these stories are being created, because he never mentioned anything about budget cuts. You're exactly right. Something was clearly different about Bill's behavior during their meeting, and everyone ignored it. There was obviously something bothering Bill, yet everyone pretended not to notice. Most of this confusion could have been prevented with open and honest communication, and one simple question. Bill, you seem a little distracted, and we know you just got off a call from headquarters. Is it bad news about our budget? Instead of asking a simple question, people created fearful fantasies. Such as cutting the budget. And perhaps letting people go. And even laying off one of his staff. And they began to carry out tasks that might not ever have to be done. Such as cutting 20% out of their budget. And what if these stories aren't even close to the truth? It doesn't matter. It's too late now. They can't be stopped. In work relationships, we have two choices. We can tell people how we're really feeling, or we can let them make it all up. Each person will invent their own version of reality, and nobody's version may even closely resemble the truth. That's just plain human nature. If we don't tell them, they will make it up. So, what was really discussed on the phone call with headquarters? Will the Eastern Division be forced to slash its budget in half? You can find out on the next episode of All My Office.